County Public Schools trying to find a manageable fix for the busing problems as we get closer to the start of the second half of the school year. But what ultimately went wrong last August? Welcome to Wave News at 6. I'm John Bowl. And I'm Myra and sorry to answer this question. Wave troubleshooters got emails from key staff members from the busing nightmare in August. Troubleshooter Mark Stevens uncovered information that provides some clues. It took JCPS months to sort through the emails we requested. We asked for emails from Superintendent Marty Polio, then Operations Chief Chris Perkins, and emails from the manager of the mapping department, Brent West, the man who signed off on not getting competitive bids for the bus routing contract, a contract that we saw on the first day of school fail. On the first day of school, August 9th, Alpha Route CEO John Hanlon emailed a good luck note saying, I know the first days are always a challenge, but I really hope that there are a lot of positive these days as well. That did not turn out to be the case. And I expect it to be a little bit longer with all the changes we're making. By the end of the second week, I think we'll have a good routine going. Hey, I'm hearing from drivers I normally don't hear from. I don't know where you're getting your information from, and uh, but my drivers are telling me that this alpha routing system is not going to work, and it's going to be a disaster the first week of school. It was. Yeah, I was at the depot for three hours. Yeah. It took a year. We're sorry. We are so sorry. After making one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult, uh, decision of my superintendent career, and that was to cancel day two and day three of the school year, Thursday and Friday. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to apologize for last night. Why did this go so wrong? Emails provided by JCPS following our open records request provide a few clues. To start, JCPS didn't get the final route map from Alpha Route until July 7th. In its email delivering it, Alpha Route acknowledged the time pressure. We would have loved to keep some time to polish the solution more, but given the scale of it and the urgency of the problem, we thought it would be better to pass it to you now. Three days later, JCPS mapping manager Brent West emailed back asking if it was possible to make some changes, all related to help the drivers, essentially making the directions easier to use. Teamsters president John Stovall says July was too late for those changes. That was an adequate time for coordinators, was an adequate uh, time for bus drivers to actually run the routes, to let people know, hey, this isn't going to work. The emails show more than a dozen new JCPS employees needed to be added to Alpha Route system to help review stops. And while the company created new computer code to make the directions easier to use, Stovall says it wasn't enough. And you're paying them for that work. They should be able to provide you with everything you need. JCPS billing records show the district paid Alpha Route more than $858,000 for its work on multiple bell times and bus routing. Yet it had never bid out the job. When West signed the form explaining why the district should waive competitive bidding requirements, he relied on Alpha Route's own justification to JCPS as proof. Alpha Route said it believed they were the only vendor to use sophisticated mathematical modeling and machine learning. We didn't see any emails from Superintendent Polio or Operations Chief Perkins following the bus fiasco on the first day of school. They may have been withheld by the district as preliminary opinions, recommendations, or drafts. JCPS did not make anyone available for an interview, but current Operations Chief Rob Folk said at the last board meeting, more routes need to be cut next year. It needs to be defensible data-driven, uh, and it has to work this time. Stovall says the district needs to have a routing plan in place by June 1st. JCPS is working on next year's busing plan right now. Some of the ideas it's considering, hiring a different contractor, hiring an internal routing team, and possibly not transporting every student. Mark Stevens, Wave News.